when we had our first election in 1994, mm. that is what marked the change from socialism to um, sort of um, capitalism, mm. democracy. That's how we call it. So um, it, it seems like a long time, 20 years, but people are still struggling, mm. adjusting to that, you mm. know. And it's a pity when, in terms of thinking, we cannot adjust because, for example, for arts, that's where we, we come from. In arts, artists are still stuck in that time where they had support, they had the government fighting their fight, you know, and for their rights and giving them a center for this and center for that. Mm. You know, so I think that the people who are making changes in Mozambique mm. are mostly people who have experience from abroad. I went to Cuba, I got a scholarship from UNESCO, it's a bit different um, program, mm. but I got, got a scholarship from UNESCO to study classical music, and I, I started in Cuba. Yeah, and that, that is the generation that, the people who grew up in that time, those are the today's adults. Mm. So, our minds are built around those concepts and those memories. But the challenges that we face today are pretty much different from those that we had those times, you know. Today you have to make a living. Yeah. You have to make a living and things are happening really fast in Oputu, you know. Yeah. This gap between riches and poor is... Yeah, a friend of, of mine was commenting that um, a flat in Mozambique is two to three times more expensive than in Johannesburg. So that's why I'm saying things have been changing a lot the last 10 years. Mm. Yeah, the last 10 years. Because I would say that the first 10 years um, from the, the, the first election, where it's when um, things just happening and everyone was just trying to feed, trying to find themselves, you know, like, okay, who am I? Where do I feed? And what do I do? What do we need? And da 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 da, you know? And few people were concentrated and worked a bit and worked a bit. As I'm saying, we don't have a structure that comes from the government. You don't have your rights. You don't have organizations that defend your rights. You don't have, you know, schools that train you perfectly or very well. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. So it's difficult for you to say, if I follow this path, I will succeed. If you are not creative yourself, you understand? So you have to train yourself, get yourself the network that you need, you know, get improve and improve and improve and have a plan. This is how I'm going to do it. And it takes long, but you can make it. There are a few people who make it. Like Stuart. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Well, uh, to become an artist in Mozambique, for instance, I mean, it's, it's very difficult because of the conditions, you know. So it's... Uh, there is, in most of the place, there is no market. You have to create everything from the scratch, you know. So you have to be actually, you have to be more than an, an artist. You have to be, I mean, your own, uh, you have to, like, let, let's talk about music, for instance, you know. So you have to write your own songs, you have uh, to play it, then you have to, um, uh, to promote it, you have to organize your own concerts, you have to build, up your your own image you know so you gotta know i mean a little bit of everything you know so and uh, and actually you know what i think i think it's it's great when you when you know a little bit of everything but sometimes you, you cannot do everything you know so it is difficult you know it takes much more than in any place where uh, let's say like Europe or United States, where all the market is already created, is there. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's like a puzzle where you're going and you put all the, 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 the pieces on the right places, you know. So like in Africa, in most places of Africa, or for instance in Mozambique, you know, every time that you, you decide to, to organize an event, you know, you have to start it from the scratch over, over and over again. It's like a repetition, you know? And um, somehow with no certainty that you're gonna, I mean, succeed, you know? It's like playing with, the, uh, with all those pieces and hoping that uh, something will happen in your benefit, you know? So 
Mozambique, Mozambique it's been like a learning place uh, for, uh, for, for all artists in all areas, you know, from musicians to uh, painters, you know, to photographers, anyone. It's not just in music or in arts or in culture. I think that Mozambique lacks um, the role models, you know. So once people start to see role models, oh, this person is making it, oh, it means that I can make it. They have to be from here and, and alive and, and speak their own language and, I mean, language their own um, network. You know, in Mozambique, we don't have a lot of uh, role models to, to follow. You know, and uh, I think in all my life I used, you know, uh, parts of several people that I liked, you know, to 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 match that puzzle, you know. So and I, it was like taking the good part of everyone, you know. I said, okay, I want to be like this person, but only, you know, in this particular uh, part of his life, you know and the words and the sayings and behaviors and I, I don't want to be this of that person, you know, so I want to be just that little part. That's what I'm going to take. And um, I can even tell you a story about I mean, Oliver Mutukuzi, which is a person that, uh, I mean, actually, I, I didn't have much admiration for him, you know, as a person, you know, till I met him, you know, in the when I met him, I mean, each day, each word, each conversation I had with him, you know, it, it makes more and more surprising with such a, you know, incredible person he is, you know, rather than being like a really good musician. Even as a musician, you know, I mean, we, you, you can go to a studio and record a song and you record word by word and you make a song. And I mean, you're not there to, to listen, to see, you know, what's going on in the studio. Then you met the person, and the person can sing, you know, the person can play for real, you know, so then, you know, and then, I mean, you, you're sure that you found the right person to, to pitch yourself, yourself with. What did he change for you? Um, I think, uh, I think he gave me, uh, the, he gave me this, uh, uh, he made me sure about what I wanted to be. You know, it, it, it made me think that what, whatever was, I was doing for years, yeah, that I was on the right path, you know. So I said, look, I cannot be wrong, you know. If someone like him is doing it and he's doing it right. Mm -hmm. There is so much to discover, to find out, to, you know, that, you know, every experience is unique, you know. So it's that learning process you know, helps you also to build up your personality, you know, and your character. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and someone who does it, um, knowing it, you know, can can build like a really great person. You know, so I think that the the future the future of every person is already designed when you are you are young. You know, it's it's in there. You know, so either you grow up. You know, um, you grow up with uh, difficulties, you know, or you grow up with an easy life, you know, that's gonna shape you in the future, you know, and, uh, and the good education and good schools are very important for everyone, you know, it doesn't matter which background you're coming from, you know, so in what happens in most of the countries right now, I'm not even talking about only Mozambique or you know, or, or in, in the continent, like Africa, you know, it's like the, you have a lot of uh, graduated people who are not educated. So artists have that challenge. It's like you were, you were carrying that table ne? and something happened. And it made me think, okay, this is one of the things that happened in my country. We have really good resources. Mm -hmm. We have people who can work them, but we don't work on the final touch. You know, it's a beautiful table if you look at it, but we don't work on the final touch. And then the moment that I have that table and a table from South Africa, I'll take the one from South Africa because it has the final touch. I can carry it without a problem. You understand? So he has this talent. You have this talent. You listen to him with like, oh, it's pure, it's good. But the final touch of it, I will go for another person and maybe it's not someone from Mozambique. 
then we'll say that maybe Mozambicans don't buy Mozambican. No. Bring me a product of quality, you know. So it makes sense. Don't, don't hang around if you don't have a focus, if you don't have any objective, if you just want to distract people and to be seen, you know. There's a lot of uh, wannabes in put and in arts, you know. Yeah. I, I, cannot, I don't have formulas, you know, mm -hmm. like formulas. I only have my own sure. points of view, my readings, yeah. So they will not get more scholarships to Cape Town because now we have a superior school of arts, of music. Mm -hmm. And the quality of this university is still not very good, I must acknowledge, you know, it's it's a recent program. Um, but these people have to search, that's what I'm saying. You have to search, you have to listen to others, you have to you have to dedicate yourself and you have to surround yourself with people who inspire you. That's why I'm talking about role models. You know? Do you teach? Um, well, I have I have done that and mm -hmm. I work a bit on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have um, I have two students at the moment. Brilliant. Yeah, I have two students, and probably I will be teaching in this university mm -hmm. um, the program of music. Yeah, I want to teach people. I want to stimulate people to think. Mm -hmm. I don't want to teach them an instrument. You know, I want people to to understand where they're standing and what they want. This thing about focus is really important. You know, it's really important. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in music, you have a lot of material. And music is practice. So you listen to something and you practice and you perfect it, yeah? But that doesn't make you someone with attitude. You need to think. Sometimes you find um, a really brilliant musician who plays, who plays Latin music. Okay, I'm not saying you shouldn't play Latin music, but what's the context? What does it mean, you know? So this thing about analyzing and um, understanding and who are you? Yeah. yeah, it's really yeah. fundamental and, and I'm afraid that when we speak about this heritage um, and I see younger musicians, mm. I'm afraid that they don't know anything about the socialist time and, and that can be good because they don't have any string attached to this dependency or this paternalism, you know? And if they have these role models, if they have these new um, constellations of artists that they can look up to, yeah? Then they can work towards something. Well, history is always, you know, I have I have that degree in history. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So history is always um, um, many sides stories, you know. So um, we are building our our history, and we are contesting and and claiming and 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 we are in a country where we've only had the same the same party, mm -hmm. the same movement, then turn party, yeah. So the history that is told is the history that is interesting to this um, to okay. this party. So it's it's maybe it's being manipulated, maybe not, you know. <laughs> so um, it's possible I would say that we had a socialist system from this year to this year without talking about what that means in the, in the people's mind, you know. Yeah. It's very funny because history, I mean, there is a saying that says that history is telling by the winners, you know, <laughs> and nobody who lost, who died, is going to tell the, uh, the story even if, the, if the, guy, the guy that died is a good guy, you know, so it doesn't matter. So, you know, it's like, I mean, nothing is, uh, uh, how can I say, I mean, you know, even when you study, you know, like philosophy, you go and you study, you know, a lot of philosophers, you know, so you can build your thesis, you know, so you don't go for one and say, okay, so, and because most of the history is, uh, it's uncertainty, you know, so, you know, because you don't know, you weren't there in 16th century to see what happened, you know, so, uh, so the story is not something that is, uh, um, it's, Concrete, you know, it's not concrete. So you have to put pieces together and build, you know, to make sure that you are uh, considering all the, uh, the the specific and important parts of the of the history. Yeah, to make your history, you know, to find out what what happened like uh, uh, one century ago. You know, so that's what I'm talking about. It's it's like that. I mean, you don't you don't rely on one person. Even people, even if, if if those people are saying exactly the same thing, you know, so you 
it, you you will try to find out you know which person is going to say something different so you can match it and balance it, you know we don't read a lot and it's because we still i believe it's because we still um struggling in, 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 in creating the basic for us you know and books is not a priority it, it's it hasn't been seen as a priority um by those who should maybe <laughs> you know but i'm really glad when i speak about the individual or private initiatives i'm part of um, a book um program that meets once a month um we meet on the 23rd if you're here <laughs> um we meet once a month and we just bring books we bring books uh, to, to our garden and people come and we speak about one book or we can invite a writer and he speaks about his um or her um, um the production and then we exchange books you know and then the following month we bring back the books and which you know it's just That's brilliant. It, but it's a movement that is taking is 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 really growing really fast and it's really beautiful because you can see that people um you know, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to getting to know a book. You know, to looking forward to being able to to grasp what is in that book. You know, so that that's those are the initiatives that I'm. So, what kind about. of books have you got sort of on on your book list? We have focused more on Mozambican writers, mm -hmm. and um, by saying that, it it hasn't been academic books, but it's been anything else. You know, like novels and you know. We just, I think, we just have this. Um, we just thirsty to to get something, you know. So it's like it's like when you give a gift to a kid. Maybe this kid will just start mm -hmm. touching this wrapping paper and, and you know feel the, the touch and hear the sound. And so that's what we we are at. That's how I see it. We just get books. We just get books and and sometimes oh I've always wanted this book you know like, oh why don't you read this book I chose this one for you and you know we just creating this awareness about uh, about books yeah. yeah the core the core group is um um with five people or maybe we maybe we are academics maybe I don't know but we all have this passion for 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 books and we're Pan Africanists yeah so um, yeah. And who comes as students from any, you know, like um, teenagers from like 17, 18, and people like 50 years old. And, and we also have a segment of this program where we can bring our kids, so kids, and we have um, books for kids, and you know, it's just the whole family. And we're Pan Africanists. What does that mean for you? For me, it means that, um, that we're all um, Pan Africanist and um, holistic, it means that we're connected as Africans. And it's very simple if you say, oh, but Africa is so diverse and we blah, blah, blah. I say to you, the moment you step Europe and you want a job, they judge you because you're black. Then you look back and you say, what is black? Oh, I come from that continent, you know? So the moment I go out and, and I don't get this job, I look in the street, I see another black person. We share a story, we share a history, you know? So it's quite present, it's not about the 50s and the 60s and this dream of becoming one nation. We have millions of nations, like in Mozambique, we have many, many different groups, and we respect that, but we share something in common. You know, that's what Pan African is, is for me. It's you coming to Maputo to do a job and not staying in a hotel, staying at a friend, you know, because we share something, you know. It's me touring Africa and staying at friends, friends in Africa because we share something. We support each other. For me, it's more about that. It's about celebrating when someone is making it. Mm. You know, Pan-Africanism for me is that. And it's respecting each other's heritage. You know, and you're proud for your history as a South African, and I celebrate that with you. I don't wish to become a South African, but I celebrate that. And I mean, it's, uh, there is just one thing that, uh, mm -hmm. um, bothers me about you know about uh, Africa it's uh, even even though you we are trying to to fight to be as 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 much African as we want to be you know we're still learning from the sources that you know are provided for for other countries you know that, that are not Africans you know everything that you learn from the books, the way they write the books, the way the, you know, 
they present us, the way that we live our lives, you know, like Westerns, you know, it's drive us, you know, almost to the to the wrong path. So you think that you're doing that, I mean, yeah, I am an African, you know, but then you're not living that, uh, that life. So it's something that uh, really scares me, you know, as, as an African, mm -hmm. you know, because, I mean, it, uh, you can be an African, truly African, and you can be a citizen of the, of the world, you know, and be uh, placed, placed anywhere in the world and feel equal, feel good, uh, because it's your life, you're living your life, you know, and everybody should respect that. Sometimes you need to get away from that space in order to see it, you know? So, for instance, the first time I was in Europe, like, to leave, that's when I realized that I was black, <laughs> you know? Honestly, I've always been uh, aware of my identity and proud and da 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 but, aha, uh -huh, black, yeah. And that is a tag that followed me. I was oh. in Norway for 10 years, sure. you know? Long so, time. yeah. So, for 10 years I was a black woman before being academic, a mother, a musician, all this and that, da, 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 historian, da, da, da. It's a black woman. And that sets you in a, in a space, in society, immediately, you know? So, you, when I see other African people, I know that we share a common moment, you know? And then we go back to this pre-colonial, or we go back to slave time, and you're like, yeah, and it was again because of what? Because uh, they were black, you know? And, and sometimes you see people trying to force this past, trying to force these realities. But I think that you will only understand it if you, if you, if you, if you have gone through it. It's helped me um, to become a person who's aware of those situations, you know? So probably that's why it's so easy for me to link up with other people. When we speak about this Pan-Africanism and this getting together wherever you are, you know? I haven't used that a lot, you know, it hasn't been a problem or a benefit or anything, it's just something that I learned, yeah. that you can be something according to where you are. Um, Mozambique in five years, um, and what the Pan-African can do over this. Um, you know, I think that uh, one of the policies that uh, everybody, everybody should be aware of, either their literate or not, you know, because the ones who are should teach the ones who are not to understand, you know, the path of life, you know, is to, to combine, you know, all the tra traditional uh, knowledge that you have with the technology, you know, so it's a powerful combination, you know, really, really powerful combination, because it makes, for Africa, it makes unique, you know, uh, so you don't forget, so then again, you go and you filter all the good things about tradition, you know, because not all tradition are really good, you know, so there are things about tradition you, that you, maybe it was like right, you know, centuries ago, but they're not right anymore, you know, so, and you have to contest, get into, get into in, in context, you know, so, and that, but in two words, tradition and technology, you know, knowledge, you know, it's powerful, it's really powerful. That's what Africa needs to, to go to go over, you know, to start to, to choose um, our own path mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the development. Mm -hmm. In five years, I, I think in five years, it's, I think it's gonna be really slow. But you know, you know what, I, I really prefer that it goes really slow, but certainly, you know, so it goes for sure. You know that each step that you you make, you know, it's no, it's not going back. You know, there is, you know, so we're going to a point of no return. So there is no return for that. So each step that you do, sure, it's better than you know doing like ten steps. Then after, then after five years, you didn't create anything for the people who are coming. You know, to follow up with with the things that you created. You know, so if you get just one step, it's really good so the other people can take that one step and make two, you know, and takes time, but, you know, there is no 
going back again. I think that artists as natural communicators, you know, they have like a very important role in, in that situation. You know, um, and what I really think about that is like most of the governments that they, they don't use uh, creativity to, 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 you know, to work to make it happen. You know, it's very stiff. It's very, it's uh, you know, it's and the artists have that you know magic of making things happening you know uh, smoothly. You know and. And besides that, you know, one one word or one uh, action, I mean one action, truly one action is more than a word, you know, better to do, better to make by than saying it, saying that I'm gonna do it, or you know, just do it. Do it make it make the people you don't know, know that you're doing. You know, and, uh, that artists, they are conscious, conscious about that, you know, and do a lot, a lot for the country. You know, uh, uh, I hate saying that, but I hate to be a musician that is uh, only for for dance. You know, yeah, I wanna be, I wanna make people happy and dance. But if you put all together, you know, the happiness, dance, you know, together with a good. Really it's Africa, Sasekile, 